Hi guys, it's great to be back talking to you. It's been so long. I was fortunate enough to actually travel a bit through Europe with my family and then made it back to New York to spend a couple weeks with them. So it's it's been forever. I just got back here a couple days ago in Denver and I'm now in the process of moving. You can probably see a lot of cupboards empty. So super exciting. I'm moving into my own place, which is big news for me. Um, so two days ago, I actually started this whole move and, you know, I was like, oh, this is, I mean, it's a 400 square foot apartment, but it's a lot of stuff still to be moving. And I kind of had to pump myself up. So I turned my little speaker on, um, Spotify, um, I don't know, something about like pop favorites of the summer, got me going. I hopped in my car. I was backing up here to back around and park on a different side so I could empty out the storage unit in the basement. And so I was like, all right, roll down the windows, pump up the tunes, and let's do this. So <laughs> backed up, backed out of my spot and was like, you know what, I'll just back it up and, you know, pull right around. Who needs the drive down one way, go all the way around the block. Let's save some time. Let's get this party started. So I put her in reverse, boom, started backing up. Nobody around me except this one parked um, Tahoe truck thing. And <laughs> stupid girl me goes boom, right into it. Nothing else around. Full street, double lanes. Nailed the truck. Somehow the guy was right out there on his porch. That happens, right? And he comes out and he's like, are you kidding me? And ah, I felt so dumb. It was one of those moments where it was like a character, a piece of you, a character trait in you that is actually in you that isn't exposed much because it actually doesn't define you or you don't want it to define you. It came out and he full blown saw it. And it was the time, the moment where I couldn't get words out, I'm kind of like a two-year-old where I get yelled at and I start to <laughs> feel like I need to cry. So every word I spoke was like, <laughs> um, so it was, you know, I gave him my phone number, my, I took a picture of my <clears throat> driver's license, all that shenanigans. And it ended up scuffing out. So it wasn't a big deal, but I felt terrible. And I think the worst part of it all was, the fact that he saw a part of me that I don't define with these days, at least anymore. I think a while back I used to, you know, throw it in reverse, blast the music, open the windows and go for it. And that was kind of translated, not just, um, it actually didn't exist just in my car, but it translated to other parts of my life. So, um, it was an experience to kind of just take note of and to realize, uh, when in your life, do you actually show these, these character flaws, if you will, or actually to flip it around and think of it in a more positive way, what things do you want to shine onto others instead of shining that silly girl, 20 year old party animal, uh, that doesn't really think about anyone else or anything around them. What traits do you hold in you that you do want to share and how have you shared them today and how will you share them? Um, so that's the wonder of the week. Go ahead and shine forth your light, your character traits that you want to shine. All right. Have a good one. Great to be back.